Hello Virgo and Virgo Cross Watchers. Um, this is a reading for December 2018. My name is L. Let's get into it. Um, I pulled the cards already just for the sake of time. Just because you know I have to do 12 of these. Well, actually 24 because extended reading. Um, anyhow, thank you to all who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Let's just jump into it. Okay, so we have our, our five card spread and then we have our clarifiers. We get an extra clarifier here and then we have our angel answers down at the bottom here. All right, so let's jump into it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, I dropped a candle, guys. <laughs> Not good. But anyhow, let's keep going. All right, so the first card we have is the queen of wands virgo Ugh, say virgo that's you uh aries sagittarius leo queen of cups ace of pentacles nine of wands nine of cups so off camera when I was shuffling and laying the cards out I heard the best is yet to come choose wisely whatever that means for some of you maybe it means something maybe it won't um, it looks like you have the opportunity to go in either way the opportunity to have partnership here and solidify something Virgo um, Aries had the Queen of Cups ready. If you had to listen to your intuition here, what does that inner guide, that spirit say to you in regards to who you have already made a commitment to thus far? Um, there's two queens here. For some of you, my Virgo men, there are two women in your life. Uh, one of you is going to be the secret woman, and then one of you have a wife that could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the vanilla woman. She's the, not to say that all Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio are, you know, the, the cookie cutter type woman, but this is, you know, um, the very loving caring can be sometimes uh, emotionally passive type woman or wife um, will allow you to quote unquote get away with things but she she knows she's not stupid she just deals with things in a different manner so and then you have the secret woman the desirable woman the fiery woman the sexy woman the attractive woman the outgoing the charismatic woman it's fun it's um you know hot is passionate with this this woman or man you have two so if you're a virgo woman you have someone who would make a really good husband and then you have someone who it, it runs hot and cold with them they're very passionate about you and vice versa it's fun it's it's sexual energy. It's um, it's all of those things that's not a commitment. As you can see, the Queen of Cups sits by the Ace of Pentacles. Um, in one of these situations, Virgo, um, you understand what it is, Nine of Wands. Um, and that's why you have separated yourself from it. And you're taking a need to it. You're bow you have bowed out, um, evaluating the situation from afar, knowing that it's it might have been drama, chaos, jealousy, greed, um, and that's why you have removed yourself. Um, but it's not without. You haven't made a full on decision. In regards to, am I going completely one way, or am I going to con continue to divide myself? 
Nine of Cups is here. Somebody, if you're a Virgo man, somebody might be pregnant. If you're a Virgo woman, you could be pregnant. It's not pregnancy. It's um. It's having what you wished for, you hope, wish for, manifest it. What what is due to you karmically? Uh, the justice card. Um, let's see what's on the bottom of the of our gilded tarot deck. Um, having what you wish for here, right in front of you. The two of pentacles. Um, but then also, look. Um, wow, that's that's funny. These are two of the same suit. Fire. That secret person. That desirable person. That sexy person. That person that just gets things going for you. Uh, knowing that it, it might not be the best situation for you, but still... Uh, entertaining it in a sense you have not gone back but you're, you're entertaining it you know it's not it may not be the right way to go here um, and then having what you hoped and wished for in the in another person and these two women can be interchangeable Sometimes she is a secret woman. Sometimes she is the main woman. Uh, in this reading, it looks like she it could be interchangeable. She could be secret or she could be the main. And this could be the other woman on the outside. Someone you hoped and wished for. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. And this energy could be interchangeable also. This could, It could be very trying in taxing with um you know the queen of cups and the nine of and the queen of wands is what you always hoped and wished for so what you your wish fulfillment may would look like okay and these could be men too from our virgo women okay so let's clarify um bottom of the deck wow the star card some of you yet two wish cards the star and the nine of cups This outside person may be very much what you wish for, but you've made commitment to another woman, Virgo man, and then Virgo woman is the other way around, of course. This outside person, complete wish fulfillment, like they check all the boxes. Um, but you, you're on the brink of committing to someone new someone else someone who may be very good for you I don't know could be dealing with an Aquarius person uh, could be this is a very sexy combination this is a very sexy woman and for some of you Virgo men or women this could be all you know all in one this could be the same person if not uh, this is a very sexy woman. She has a lot of attention. It's very pretty. Uh, or if it's a man, he's very handsome. He gets some attention. Keeps his body nice. Nice body. Nice uh, frame. Just, just very attractive. Um, okay. So let's clarify. Well, the Queen of Wands, the Sun. Wow. Yeah, it's like... Um, this person brings out the inner kid in you. Um, they, lots of sexual energy, lots of sexual chemistry, lots of passion and desire, lots of feeling like you, when you're with this person, you feel like you're on cloud cloud nine. You feel like other people are watching you, looking at you, and um, you get a kick out of being with them. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Sun Moon Rising. Queen of Cups. Ooh. So I did have it right for some of you. Uh, there's high anxiety with um, maybe the wife. 
that it may have gotten a bit stale with um, you may have done something Virgo man that uh, causes high anxiety for someone you're dealing with or it's gonna or you have this person feeling this way or you feel this way about this connection you feel like uh you know should I end it should I make it the ten of swords and just end it or should I um, you know, try to hang in there and see what happens with the nine, nine of wands okay and then we have uh, on the ace of pentacles the hierophant yeah you you don't know which to choose for some of you choose um, engagement marriage solidifying our connection and relationship it's giving you high anxiety because there's somebody out here that you really have strong connection to really either love or like or strongly like I don't know um, there's somebody who makes you question what you're doing Virgo and they make you question solidif solidification okay nine of wands just as well yeah um, like I said for some of you you hoped and prayed for in a in your okay so with the star card you guys are on the right path it always speaks to being on the your where you need to be justice I said justice getting what you you want karmically and what's due to you karmically what you've put out over the over time over the course of time is coming back to you the scales are now balanced um, there is equality with a certain someone you know this could be the person on the out this could be the person that you've already made commitment with um, this could be having made commitment to someone before um, really exploring the feelings that you have for somebody else on the outside uh, but justice will prevail here you're getting what's due to you karmically but at the same time you question it. do I choose wisely the best is yet to come what do I do do I go with this other person or do I stay where I am where it's vanilla and it's it looks like it's going very well uh, the passion desire and all those things are not there okay so nine of cups page of swords the magician hmm looks like for some of my Virgos it's you 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 want what you want and you're gonna get it at any cost um this is what you hoped and wish for maybe a younger air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius definitely um, Aries Aquarius Gemini um, We've got Aquarius here. Get more information about manifesting this. Some of you are going to just manipulate the energy to what you want it to be. Some of you, like I when I heard, some of you are just going to just, you know, have try to have these two people in your energy. You're just going to try to make it work for yourself that you get what you want. Um, Nine of Cups, Page of Swords. Uh, some of you... You need to check on what you're manifesting. Like, is it really the right thing?
You need to get more information about what you wish for. It might be not manifesting what it is you really need. I don't know. Our Angel Answers cards. Oh, at the bottom of the deck. Gilded to Oh, wow. Eight of Cups. Well, that changes. Shifts some energy for some of you. Either someone's walking away from you or you're walking away from someone. So we have the Eight of Cups and then the Nine of Cups. Some of you, there's something someone that quest makes you question what the hell you're doing completely and you may abandon one position to go to another and we have an uh, we have an entire another position here with the queen of wands and then the queen of cups i mean it could be interchangeable you could be going to one another one or the other this is somebody they didn't they were not emotion they were not completely so satisfied they want the nine of cups and they're manifesting it yeah this is somebody who cut something out abruptly they found something out now they're manifesting what it is they really wanted all along eight of cups at the bottom of the deck okay Angel answers did. What did the angel answers have to say to my Virgos? Yes. Wow, we have a yes answer. This is Virgo, if you never purchased the extended reading, I and this is resonating for you, I suggest that you do. It's a dollar seventy-five cent. Um it's an inexpensive way to get clarity, especially if it's resonating with you. So you get a yes answer. Definitely gonna go into that in the extended read. There's something better. Then I said, I heard the best is yet to come. There's something better. For some of you, this is about being able to walk away. Walk away from commitment, a marriage, a long-standing relationship. Maybe with a Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, some of you. You got two people here. Somebody who's completely in love with you, but you don't. There's high anxiety with them or with you in regards to them oh, gosh we're gonna, abundance you got nothing but good cards yeah. but it's about you making a decision choose choose wisely the best is yet to come and then there's something better let's let's hop on over to the extended read I am definitely um, curious as to how this turns out for my Virgos. This is a really interesting reading. Um, okay, so Virgo, this resonates with you. Go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead, click it, click it, click it. It really helps the channel. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Um, that means a lot. Um, what else? What else? Um, happy Holidays. Continue to stay in prayer. Know that I'm praying for you too, Virgo. Pray for me as well. Take care. I will see you on the other side. The link will be below. $1.75 gets you a potential outcome for your energy, especially if it's resonating this far. Okay, take care, guys. Bye.